Okay, as Mr. Har Knox suggested, I'm going to... Uh, thanks for the suggestions. Really do thank everybody for their wonderful suggestions. Which is one of the reasons I decided to uh, make the video, too. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I admit it. I've never done this before on a set like this. So I'm learning. But I do have used these uh, gas dusters before. And they're good. I'm going to get the dust off of the stuff here. It's not going to hurt anything. Ah, that gets cold. Ah, that can't get cold. Freeze your hand right to it. Okay, here's the underneath of this thing. I guess I should uh, spray some of that stuff on the underneath here. You can see where they made mistakes on the board. There's a, there's a jumper there and a jumper there. I guess not too many. There was another one on top of the board too. I like how they have the board built with this uh, this frame, plastic frame around it, because it serves two purposes. It protects the board, helps you to install it, and then um, the cabinet fits into the board too. So the cabinet provides some more rigidity to it. But I like I like that. That's 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 good to have. So now this is my Sears Roebuck power relay that they said was the right one. And looks like it might go right there. It's a little bigger than the other one that's in there though. You see that? There's the old one. Here's the new one. So we got this thing here. What does that say? Let's see. Uh, continued protection. Blah blah blah. Oh, that reminds me. I, I'm going to order the protection caps too for this. Let's see. It's right there. Put a new one in. There's a fuse. So this fuse. That's a good thing to do. Check the bottom of that relay. See if the pins match up to this. Got one, two. That's for the that's for the coil. This is for the relay contacts there. Let's see what's underneath it here. Uh, let's see. There's uh, one, two. Geez, I don't know. You know. I said that was the right part number, but I don't know. But if it ain't, I'm going to make it work, you know? I'll figure out a way to make it work. So that's it right for now. Oh, one more thing. I've got to do here. See, all these caps look like they're uh, radial caps instead of axial. So I'm going to order me uh, some uh, radial caps for the... Um, vertical section and replace all those because of the vertical linearity problem. So that's it for now folks. I'm going to get on that and I do have the schematic for this set. I show that in part one. So I got all the values. Okay here's part of the schematic I'm pulling up on my laptop and uh, this represents the, um, the flexion yoke here vertical horizontal sections of the flexion yoke. I'm only concerned with the vertical section so I'm going to come through here to trace it through. I'm going to replace the caps that are pertaining to the vertical. Here's the first one I come with. Come to C307 0.47 microfarad 100 volt. And this is the chip here for the uh, for the vertical it has here the IC vertical output chip. I don't think there's anything wrong with the chip. I just wanted to show you. There's the uh, 
sawtooth way for the vertical. But I'm not all really concerned with all the, the technical aspects of of how this circuit works. I'm just going to replace the caps, shot, do the shotgun approach, and replace the caps that are pertaining to the vertical. Uh, let's see, here's another cap, C313.22. That's uh, 1100 volts. Let's see if I get that. That's, that's kind of like an oddball part. It's 3C309 here. But what I'm doing is kind of pull up a document here. Um, I did find this in the service manual about the height control. It changes the size of the picture or pattern, make final adjustments to overscan the mask about 10% vertically. And uh, here's the cap, one of the caps I'm going to replace, C307, one I just mentioned. There's another C305. So I'm going to go through that and go through the parts list. Most of these are the electrolytics that are radial insertion. So that's what I'm going to uh, to order up. So that's that's the plan. So have a great day folks. Take it easy. Bye. Yeah, I was just studying this a little more. If if you notice this little section here like here's a cap here, resistor, resistor. Here's another cap. But if you follow this, this line through, all the way through, let's see if I could follow all the way through. That's what I wanted to show you. I just discovered this here. This line goes all the way through, and it goes to here. Here's a little resistor here. So this is like biasing the, uh, the drive here to the vertical coil. So this might have something to do with my linearity problem. See? And my problem is like the, the top half of the picture is stretched out and the bottom half is compressed. So you see how this like modifies it here through this resistor? So I'm going to replace those those caps. I'm going to move this picture back here. And this this little network here. This cap here, C three oh five. I already wrote that down. It's one microfarad. Resistor, resistor, and here's another one, 3300 microfarad, 25 volts, C306. So those are two I'm going to replace because it's suggestive that those kind of bias or modify the drive going to the yoke. The vertical coil of the yoke, I should say. So that's it. Uh, that's the end of this video here. So have a great day. Bye.